This video is sponsored by Zebronix. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really cool and advanced looking title animation in After Effects which is really simple and easy to do. We'll be needing two plugins for this one is the Saber and the second one is the Element 3D. Well, Element 3D is kind of optional but if you have it, you're good to go. So without any further ado, let's jump in After Effects and get started. If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build then make sure to check out Zebronics.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets, they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. This is gonna be our main comp. So let's rename this to main. 1920 into 1080. 30 FPS looks good. And 10 seconds should be good enough and hit OK. Now let's go ahead and create one more composition for our text. So I'm just going to rename this to text underscore 01. And then you can write in any text that you want. I'm just going to type in Sonic. And by the way, I'm using the Steinier font. You can use, of course, any font that you like. Pretty good. Let's set this to maybe 120. Okay, perfect. Then what I can do is create a new solid. So hit Control Y to create a new solid and let's rename this to Saber. Hit OK and let's add Saber effect to this. And let's change the core, custom core from Saber to text layer. And in the text layer, I'm going to set this to Sonic. So now it's going to replicate our text. So if I just bring down the core size to maybe somewhere around one you can see it more properly and I'm gonna go into the preset and now there are tons of preset you can choose from but I'm gonna go with something like an arc reactor because I think this looks pretty cool so let's go to maybe one second and let's play around with the end offset I'm gonna set this to all the way down to zero percent and create a keyframe go back in time and let's set it to all the way up at hundred percent so we have a really simple animation just like so pretty simple and maybe I'll just bring down the course or bring up the core size to 2 and let's play around with the glow intensity maybe I'll just bring this down to 30 percent okay this looks pretty good to me so let's go at the very beginning and I'm gonna increase the core size to maybe 4 or let's go with 3 4 is a bit too much Create a keyframe and hit U so we can see the keyframes. Go to one second and let's set this down to zero. So we have a really subtle out animation as you can see. Pretty cool. So once you're done with that, I can just set the blending mode of this to screen I guess. And let's hide our text. Let's create a new solid. So hit Control Y, and this is going to be our element 3D layer. So I'm just going to rename this to E3D. Hit OK, and let's add element 3D to this. Let's go into custom layers and custom text mask, and set the path one to Sonic. That is our text. Let's go into scene setup, and let's click on extrude. So now you can see we have our text just like so let's hide the grids and show info and i'll just turn on the ao so here we have our text so let's pretty quickly add a material pretty quick so i'm going to go for in the pro shaders 2 and let's add a metal one maybe something like this one and let's bring down the uv repeat to 4 and this one to 4 as well maybe i'll just go with a different metal i think let's check out other ones as well I think this looks very good as well also I'm gonna increase the extrusion to around 5 let's say or maybe let's go with 7 let's select a different material maybe also let's add a environment pretty quick so we can use 
from the some of the default environments which looks which looks pretty nice as you can see but for now I'm gonna go with this one or if you have the backlight environment you can use this ones as well which are really really cool as you can see this one is looking pretty nice but I think most of the people won't have the backlight you know environments because you need to separately purchase it along with element 3d so I'm gonna use the basic ones so that you guys get the idea more properly and for the texture I think this looks pretty nice so let's hit OK. So there we have our text. Also, I want to bring this down below our Saber comp. And for now, let's turn off the Saber layer so you can just see the Element 3D text. Let's go into the render settings and I'll just add the ambient occlusion and set this to ray trace so we get some really nice text as you can see. And for the bevel, I think I'm going to increase this a bit more. So let's increase this to around 12 pretty nice let's hit ok ok now you can see we get this really nice depth into our scene and also for the text I'm going to increase the size of the text as well to let's go with me 150 as you can see looking pretty nice let's scale this up a bit so that it fits our text maybe 106 or something like that just trying to bring it bring it as close as possible you can see looking pretty nice now let's go and tweak some settings first of all let's go into the render settings and let's not into the render settings I guess oh let's go into element 3d and let's go into render settings and what I can do is go into physical environment and increase the exposure to 1.2 and for the gamma I'm gonna go with 1.1 alright and then I'm gonna go into the output settings and let's click on and enhance multi sampling so we get rid of all the anti aliasing issues so you can see now our text is looking very very nice let's pretty quickly add a new light point light and let's place it in the position that we want so I'm gonna place it somewhere around there something like that looking pretty nice so now we have something like this one more thing that I'm gonna do is duplicate the Saber layer so hit control D to duplicate it and let's change the color to something like a uh, orange color and turn off the glow and let's displace this a bit forward in time maybe three frames so we, you can see we have this really cool look for our text now you can add more and more saber comps or saber layers to make it look more you know intense and complex as well so i think this is looking pretty good maybe i'll just set this to right over here hit u and i'll just move or drag the keyframes a bit forward in time and let's actually select both the saber comp hit u and i'm going to bring this actually a bit right just like so you can see now we get this really cool look it adds a little bit of detail more detail into our complete scene I think also let's select all the keyframes and hit F9 to ease, ease them and we are good to go so looking pretty good let's go into our main composition and drag in our text there we have it and then I'm gonna add an effect called CC scale wipe and if I increase this you can see get the idea of what we are going for so I'm gonna set this to 90 and let's set the direction to minus 90 and let's place the center point right over here create a keyframe go one second forward in time and let's bring this back just like so so now we have something like this which looks pretty cool I think I need to go into the Saber comp hit U I'll increase this a bit to maybe 25 frames or something and this one to one second and five frames something like that and let's hit U let's bring this keyframe a bit closer now we should have 
something like that which looks pretty interesting as you can see right off the bat but I want the glow to be here as well so what I can do is just drag the keyframes a bit forward in time you see looking pretty nice okay perfect now what I can do is let's add an effect or yeah actually an effect called turbulence displays and bring the CC scale wipe below the turbulent displays and let's increase the turbulent displays amount to maybe something like 200 or I think 200 is a bit too much maybe 150 and the size to 20 okay at the very beginning create a keyframe on the amount let's go right over here and let's actually 20 frames and let's set this to zero so now we get a bit more displacement into the scene as you can see pretty nice as you can see this is looking really really nice much much better actually than the example I created before so pretty simple and easy to do as you can see guys so what you can do is let's pretty quickly add a new solid so hit ctrl y to create a new solid and let's rename this to op for optical flares and let's add optical flares to this also set the blend mode to screen go into options and clear all we just need the glow so i'm just going to use the glow hit ok and place it right over here let's make this kind of a really nice blue color something like so hit ctrl d and let's place this one right over here also want to change the color to something like really nice orange color as you can see pretty cool and then I can just you know animate the scaling properties of this one a little bit so let's create a new keyframe on the scale property go to maybe three seconds and let's set this to 1110 so now we have a little bit of kind of like a camera animation into our scene as you can see pretty cool And to get rid of the color bendings in the optical flares, you can switch to 16 bits. You know, this will help us to get rid of the color bendings. And you can also add a new adjustment layer. Put it on the top and let's rename this to N for noise. And let's add noise to this. Really minimal amount of noise, maybe 2%. And that will help us to get rid of the color bendings. And I'm going to add a new adjustment layer again. Let's rename this to CC for color correction. Add, add a bit of a color correction to this. So let's add a curves. Let's punch up the colors a bit just like so. And there you go. You have your really sick looking cool title animation. So I don't really, I'm not really sure, but I think this is the fourth episode of the title animation. If you guys don't know that I'm doing a 10 episode series for title animation, slideshows and logo reveal. So yep, I haven't, you know, I, uh, I'm also creating overview videos, but it doesn't mean that I've forgotten the series that we are working on. So yep. And yep, that is all for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed it. So that is a wrap for today guys. I hope this video was helpful and this is the last tutorial for 2017 guys as I'll be heading on to a holiday vacation for 5-7 to seven days and I'll be vlogging as well. So if you guys haven't seen my vlogging channel make sure to check the link in the description below where you can see my vlogging channel and get a little bit of look of my personal life. So that said I'll meet you guys in 2018 with some really cool ideas, concepts and tutorials. Hope you guys a Merry Christmas. I know I'm kind of late to the party but Wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative